Hi everyone, it's Nicole from Baby to Sleep back with part 25 of our journey in helping my youngest daughter Alicia um, to sleep better through the night, ideally, <laughs> in a toddler bed in her sister's room, going from breastfeeding through the night with multiple night wakings in a cot in my room. So we're on a journey um, in making all these transitions happen in one go, which is a bit too scary. And to be fair, we've made huge, huge progress. Um, we've gone from that to the fact that she goes to bed in her bed. She loves her bed. It's her mini bed. She loves sharing a room with her sister. Um, she doesn't breastfeed throughout the night, even though this morning she actually asked for it. I was like, no, that's all gone now. Um, that's been out two weeks now, hasn't it? Um, we don't do that, but it's fine. And then... Uh, what else? Oh yeah, so that's pretty much it. And she has done a 12 hour 15 stint straight through. Now we've had ups and downs, we've got more colds. I'm at the moment at the point of waiting for the um, snot induced vomit to come up. You know, when you can just hear it all sitting on the chest and obviously little ones like that, they can't cough it up the way that we do. So when they tend to cough, they decide that they're gonna bring all of their food with them, <laughs> with it. So I'm in the process of waiting for that to happen, um, which I'm sure will be any time soon. <laughs> um, it's a normal thing. If any of you have got little children, little ones, and you think, oh my God, what's just happened? They've got a cold, they've been sick, but they've not been sick again. It might not just be that they've actually got a sickness bug. It might just literally be that they're clearing all the rubbish off their chest. Um, it's very common. Just a quick tip with that, if you find that your little ones are struggling um, and they're vomiting a little bit because they are full of snot and mucus, it could be worth trying to sort of cut back on dairy for a couple of days just because obviously dairy really sort of helps that mucus uh, develop. <laughs> Um, and again, if they are generally sick, even with a sickness bug, it can be good to cut back on dairy for a couple of days just to kind of give their stomach chance to settle a little bit as well. Um, they're just a couple of little tips. Anyway, um, so, right, so what happens? Where are we up to? So yes, we've made huge progress, um, but we've been hit by so many obstacles on this journey. It's unbelievable. Um, but it is what it is. I said to you that I would literally share the good, the bad, the ugly and the successes. Well, if you watched the video from the other night, uh, from Monday, so part 24, you will have seen um, very much the reality and very much the ugly side of um, things, which is, I'll be honest, that video I put out the other day, if you've not watched it yet and you've struggled, it's worth watching and it was one that... Um, it took a lot for me to do. I was nervous doing it because I'm kind of thinking, do I really want to be admitting to these things? Do I really want to say how much I've personally struggled with stuff? Should I really be putting this out there? I don't know. And it was a, it was a strange one for me to actually do. Um, but I did it because I thought, well, actually, do you know what? It's a struggle that so many parents go through and it's not necessarily talked about enough the behind the scenes of how we sometimes react um so it was very much a um <clears throat> a difficult video to create to talk about and it was definitely a diff difficult one to hit the whole publish um button on so yeah <laughs> uh apologies about that because i did get quite emotional in it i watched it back it's the only time i've ever watched one back because i was kind of going do i actually dare do i just delete it um and I was like, no, it's it's very much real, so it's there. So yes. Yeah, so anyway, um, <laughs> <coughs> so we have been hit with a lot of struggles, but we still made huge, huge progress. So where are we up to in the last couple of days? So we left with Monday, where everything was just absolutely carnage with the no nap. Um, we did the video on uh, Tuesday, wasn't it? And I said to you, obviously, she'd gone to bed on Monday night at half past five. Um, so where are we up to? No, this was, no, hang on, she's got Monday night, Tuesday night. No, so we've done Monday night. So I'm telling you about Tuesday night and Wednesday night. So half past five, she went to bed and that was it. So then what happened on Tuesday? She woke at about 11. That can't be right. I'm trying to think which way we've got round everything is now. It gets so confusing. Um, so I'll, I'll just tell you basically what I've decided to do temporarily because Sophia, my eldest, her sleep is really sort of suffering to the point where she's been 
super tired to the point she's been sleeping until sort of 20 past seven in the mornings which is unheard of um you know which really really bizarre she's tired like really tired and i've been putting her to bed early um so that sleep has got to be very much protected so for any of you that aren't aware what i've done is i've kept the cot up in my room because i think at the end of the day she's still too young to be in a bed two and a half years is the average age where they, they they're cognitively ready to understand the concept of staying in bed um so what i've kind of done at the moment is said right i'm keeping the cot up because if she decides that she is going to create in the night, I need somewhere that I can just put her and that I know that she's actually going to be fine. Um, and in the middle of the night, she's less likely to play up because she is tired. So I can just kind of take her and say, right, now you're going in the cot. So we had it two nights ago where she did that. I kind of woke up to her coming into the bedroom. I was like, right, okay, there we go. You're here now, let's go to bed can't actually remember what time this was but I remember because um I was like oh, I could really do with a decent night's sleep because I was obviously driving down um to Stafford yesterday um so the last thing we needed was to be a really like really long day um because Sophia was doing um background shooting in a commercial yesterday so we drove down um to do that and <clears throat> the last thing I needed was a rubbish night's sleep but it is what it is and I've taken to the fact that temporarily <clears throat> I'm taking my own step back slightly and saying, right, what we're going to do is if she wakes in the night, she's going straight in the cot. I'm not even going to try and get her back to sleep in the bed right now. Um, I'm just going to move her into the cot. Um, she's not generally happy about it, but then I'll just say, it's okay, sweetheart, because we'll try the bed again tomorrow. And that's kind of where I'm at. So I'm not saying it's a punishment. I'm just saying, it's okay. You're here with mummy and we'll just try again tomorrow. And she's generally okay with that, which is great. <laughs> um, in the sense of, we'll try again tomorrow. So we go with that. And to be fair, when she's gone into the cot, the cell last night wasn't bad at all. The night before was a bit rubbish, but I think she wasn't well. This is a night where you could really hear all the rubbish on her chest. And she started the day about five-ish and she just, she was tired. She was really, really tired. So I was like, oh no, great. Um, this was for Tuesday, wasn't it? No, no, I brought her into bed with me. She woke up five and I just put her into bed and I thought, right, what I'm gonna do is just turn me back on it and she can just go to sleep. So that way she's not getting used to being cuddled. She can just actually go to sleep. And she did, we slept for about another hour. Then on yesterday morning, it was very much a case of, you know, she was up and that was it. There was no going back to sleep. I get so confused. Now, I've told you about Monday, so this is this morning. So this morning, so this last night was 10 to, tw 10 to what? Mm, 10 to one. I hear bang, the door comes flying open and there she is. Mummy! It's like, okay, let's get you in the seat cot. She went straight into a cot and that was it till six, which was great. So really, apart from that one wake up where she came into the bedroom, she actually slept through last night till six o'clock, which was great. Um, but she was kicking off at bedtime last night. We had, um, oh, like I say, it was a really long day. So we didn't pick her up from nursery till 20 past six and she'd been there since 10 past seven yesterday morning. It was her longest day at nursery ever. And we had the whole kind of get her home, stick some Weetabix down her neck because she'd eaten and get her straight to bed. And I put Sophia and Alicia to bed at the same time because Sophia was also absolutely exhausted. So this was the first time we'd actually tried to do a bedtime with the two of them um, in a while because I've been doing them separate. Um, so it, it wasn't going too well. So I've got Sophia there going, I want to go to sleep. And I've got Alicia there going, Minnie, 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 Minnie. And I'm like, oh my God. God, ha ha ha! I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I love it, right? I was like, I've got the one that's always tried to fight sleep, begging for sleep, and I've got the little one that's always loved sleep, messing around. It's like this is just not fun. Um, but prior to that, she had absolutely screamed. So I've learnt from Monday's mistakes. So. <laughs> I know this is all a bit higgledy piggledy today, isn't it? But it's just, it's been a crazy couple of days. I can't quite remember where, where to put myself. Um, but yes, yeah, so I picked her up from nursery. And I thought, right, I need to give her some time. Tried to come in the living room with her to play, but she was just fighting. And I went, right, she is tired. Take them both up. I have never heard her scream so much in my life. And she would not let me get her dressed. She was, she didn't want a story. And after Monday, I'm going calm 
I'm going to stay calm. I'm not screaming. I'm not going to shout. I'm not going to ignore. I'm not going to cry. <laughs> I'm just going to be calm. And so it's okay because I thought, yeah, actually, she needed some kind of connection because she'd missed me all day and we'd not seen each other. And what she did see was very much a case of in, eat, up. So it was a very unusual type of day. I've never known a scream like this. I was trying to do stories. She was hitting Sophia. Um, she was hitting me. She didn't want the cuddles off me. She wouldn't let me put the pajamas on. It was horrendous. Eventually, we calmed her down, but it took it took quite a bit of time. And the way we did eventually get her to calm down was getting into Sophia's bed with us, and we all read a story together. But then she wanted her own story as well, so I had to read it again, but in her bed, and that took a bit of getting as well because she was just messing around like they do at this age um, but we got there and we got her into bed and I read her a story and then we had the whole mini 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 ha 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 thing but she went to sleep and both of them were asleep by 20 to 8 uh, which was very late very very late but like I say the day circumstances it is what it is you can't change it and they were both asleep for 10 to 8 10 to 10 to 11 um I say no say 10 to 1 and they came flying in put her in the cot that was it till 6 all hunky dory and I've checked the naps today at nursery she's done just shy of two and a half hours so I'm like woo woo brilliant so fingers crossed for a better night tonight but it really is sometimes just that kind of <sighs> it's not great tomorrow's a new day we start afresh and we do it again and we just basically we just keep putting the basics into place so for me right now I think where I'm at is if she wakes I'm not messing around trying to get her to go back to get in the bed she doesn't really want to be in the cot she wants to be in the bed, so let it just be a case of if she wakes, she can go in the cot. And that's where she stays till morning. And we try again the next day. Um, with naps, we'll see how that goes. That'll be a Saturday one. So we'll see what happens then. But generally, things are uh, much better, but that's because she's napping at nursery, so it's all good. Um, fingers crossed for the next few days. I'll let you know. Probably don't need to let you know anything tomorrow. Um, but we'll just see how things go. If any of you do need my help, you know where I am, um, babytosleep.co.uk, Nicole at babytosleep.co.uk, um, and you can check out all the online courses, you can check out the one-to-one -one support, um, and let me help you on your journey to a better night's sleep. Right, I'll see you all soon.